Bradley? Brad? Brad? Bradley? Short one for you. I want something else to get me through this semi-tall kind of life. This is from when we played Bonnaroo. This was in the backstage and I stole from Bonnaroo, so sorry about that. Hi, I'm Brad. I'm Jamie, and this is Everly, and welcome to our LA home. This house is from, was built in 1965, and it was owned by an 80-something-year-old woman, and it looked like an 80-something-year-old woman's house. And so we, uh, we did a major gut renovation of it, took it down to the studs, and we redid everything. It went from sweet old lady house to our vibe was just kind of California, casual, modern. This is my favorite thing about the house. This is the it's this very center of the, the whole living area of the house. This uh, had sliding glass doors, so it was all enclosed when we uh, bought the house, and then we decided to uh, open it up. It's uh, like jungle plants. Very yeah. green, very cool. Um, so we just wanted something a little more simple. Yeah. <laughs> my God! It's a thorny black olive tree, and they warned me they'd be very difficult to grow in here, and it turned out to be just like they said. So when we moved into the house, she actually had a full peninsula bar here. We probably should have just rebuilt the bar because now it's just an organized toy junk room. Yeah, it's going to be a, an adult bar one day. I used to be into vinyl a lot more. Now, now I just stream everything, but... Um, that was, you know, this is my pre-kid life right here, pre-children. And then this is just some stuff I collected, just traveling around, go to junk shops. Um, a lot of times I'll go to museums, but if there's no museums in town, I'll go to a junk shop and buy something. I got this in Paris uh, last time I was there. These are some candlesticks my mom gave me. This is actually probably my favorite room in the house. We have some really fun, long dinner parties uh, in, in this room. And, Makes me feel like an adult. We wanted to have sort of like a little statement piece with the chairs, and we found these vintage um, Kai Christensen chairs, which are sort of my favorite thing in the whole house. Basically, the the art I want, I can't really afford. So what I do is I buy the book of the artist. So like over here, you know, you have uh, Harold Ancart. This is a new guy I really like. Peter Doig. I don't have an extra twenty million to buy his stuff. Um, Jonas Wood, I like him. This is probably my favorite thing. The picture with a piece of the Berlin Wall I got years ago when I was in Berlin. It took off a piece of the wall and uh, charge you 110 bucks for it or something. So it's probably more now. This is the main room we live in. I don't know what you call it. This family room. Family room. There you go. Uh, previously, there was a wall separating the kitchen, and when we did the renovation, we removed that and opened up this whole area. This is my office. Minimalism is great, but it all ends up at somewhere, and this is where it is. Here's a lot of our albums on vinyl. Oh, actually, all of our albums on vinyl. I have at least some of them. This is the uh, one a lot of people know, our first record, but what a lot of people don't know is that the first 500,000 of them look like this. This is rare. You can't have this. Um, well, you can, you're my cousin. This is uh, our original four times platinum record. This is a drum set that I actually traded a guy for in high school. This, this is actually a really cool old Gretsch, vintage Gretsch kit from the 60s, or maybe the 70s, early 70s. My original drum set was a Ludwig, not very good, just a starter one. And this kid, his dad bought him this really nice, like jazz, awesome Gretsch set. And when we graduated, he's like, you know what? You're into drums. You're doing great with it. Let's just trade. To this day, I still have these drums and I've recorded albums on these. The grandparents gave my son a little drum set this year for Christmas. So he comes in here, he's, he's, I'm so proud of him. He has already broken a drum head. I had to fix it. Duct tape right there. He just, he's, he's a big hitter, he's a strong dude. Great to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.